In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the knock sensors on your Chevy Silverado. There will be two located on this vehicle, one above the starter on the passenger side, and the other will be located above the differential on the driver's side. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen the negative terminal on the battery, pull the cable off of the terminal, Put it somewhere where it won't make contact under the car, looking up on the passenger side. We're going to be going after our starter. This is going to be hard to see, so we're going to reach up and we're going to disconnect a connector. We're going to remove a cable, and we're going to take out the two bolts for the starter, and then we're going to remove the starter. Pull the cover down for the connector. Just slide it down the cable. Reach up. On the back side of the connector is going to be a push button. You're going to push on that and remove the connector and pull it out of the way. Right here is going to be our nut. Using a 13 millimeter socket or wrench, we're going to remove the nut for the power cable for the starter. Remove the cable. There should be a bolt on the side of the shield that goes into the starter. Our bolt is missing. Remove the two 13 millimeter bolts for the starter. Remove the two bolts and pull the starter out of the bell housing. Pull the starter down and out. Once we remove that starter, we can see the cover for our knock sensor. We're going to pull this cover down, pull it down over the harness. On the back of that connector, there's going to be a red tab. We're going to pull that tab back to unlock the connector. We're going to push on the top button and remove the connector from the sensor. Using a 13 millimeter wrench, we're going to remove the bolt for the knock sensor. Take note of its location. We're going to try and re-index this when we install it into the same position. Remove the bolt for the knock sensor. Remove the bolt and knock sensor. Install the bolt through the new knock sensor. Install it up into place and get the bolt started. Push the sensor into the same orientation it was before removing it and snug the bolt down. We're going to torque the bolt to 18 foot-pounds. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. And close that red locking tab. Install the boot over the connector. Install the starter. And get it installed into the bell housing. And get the bolt started.
Snug the bolts down. Torque the bolts to 37 foot-pounds. Install the battery cable onto the side of the starter. Get the nut started onto the stud. Torque it to 80 inch pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on it, do the best you can. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Slide the boot up over the connector. Install the bolt going to the starter through the heat shield. Again, ours is missing. The passenger side knock sensor is going to be located above the passenger side differential. Looking above, this is going to be the boot for the connector. We're gonna remove this heat shield, this 13 millimeter bolt here, and then we'll be able to remove the connector and the knock sensor. Using a 13 millimeter wrench or socket, we're gonna reach up through this triangle right here, up towards the bolt, and we're gonna remove that 13 millimeter bolt for the heat shield. Remove the bolt, remove the heat shield, pull down the shield for the connector, pull the red tab down for the connector. You may need to use a flat blade to help you. Push on that black tab and pull down on the connector and remove it from the sensor. Using a 13 millimeter wrench or socket, Break the bolt free and remove the bolt for the knock sensor. Remove the bolt and the knock sensor. Install the bolt and the knock sensor. Position the sensor in the orientation it was when you took it out. Snug down the bolt and torque it to 18 foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on it, do the best you can. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Close that red locking tab. Slide the shield up and over the connector and sensor. Install the heat shield up into place and then reach up with your bolt, installing it through the hole. While installing this bolt, my body is facing the bed of the truck and I'm reaching up backwards with my arm. This seems to be the best position to be able to twist in the bolts. Snug the bolt down and get it nice and tight. Install the negative battery cable. Snug the terminal down. Give it a wiggle, make sure it doesn't move, and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.